How did the appointment at uh, Tennessee, the agency that runs Medicaid, how did that appointment come about? Well, actually, it's not the agency that runs Medicaid. That's a that, that that isn't what I ran. What I ran was the Department of Human Services. Um, but I'll tell you how that came about. So the um, the governor of Tennessee was a man named Ned McWhorter, who had been the Speaker of the House for 20 years before that. And when I was the student body president at the University of Tennessee, one of our activities was to pile in someone's car and drive over to Nashville two and a half, three hours to lobby the state legislature because the state legislature controlled our tuition, um, pretty much everything about, the, about our lives as students, they set the policy for. They appointed the board of trustees, you know, all of that. So I'd gotten to know then Speaker McWhorter during that time. And when he ran for governor, I helped him. I was practicing law. So when he was elected, he called me up and asked me to come talk to him about joining uh, his cabinet. And I originally lobbied for, um, I, I thought, insurance commissioner because I'd been doing some, um, I was a litigator, I'd been doing some work representing insurance companies. And he said, no, no, that isn't what I have in mind for you. I wanna work on um, indigent healthcare. I wanna get people covered in this state. There are too many, when I was campaigning, I met too many poor people who don't have coverage. And I want, you to run my biggest department, which was the Department of Human Services. And I want you to go to Washington and throw your weight around. Um, and he was a, a, you know, six, four or five former football player and I'm not. So it was sort of a joke between us that I was gonna come up here to Washington and throw my weight around. Um, he also, he was, he was very crafty, he said, so, also, I just need to warn you that um, I'm going to need you to do a RIF, a reduction in force. And I said, well, I did have, you know, I was way too young to be doing this job. Let's start there. I forgot to say that part. I was, I was 30 by the time it was announced, by the time it was inaugurated. Um, and I said, well, okay, uh, what do you mean by a reduction in force? And he said, well, there's... Um, about a 10% reduction in force. And I remember sitting there and thinking, okay, there are 6,000 employees at the Department of Human Services. So that's about 600. That'll be no problemo. I had no idea how uh, wrenching, you know, doing something like that would be. Um, also, my department had a very heavy concentration of the people in our state government who were members of the State Employees Association, which was a union, basically. So they um, were not exactly in favor of doing a reduction of force. Um, also, members of the legislature didn't like it because they had gotten people appointed to these jobs. In many parts of Tennessee at that time, um, if you wanted a white collar job and you didn't wanna be a teacher, um, this was the best job because we had an office in, in all 95 of the counties in Tennessee. So um, anyway, it was a very difficult experience. I traveled, I, dro I drove to all 95 counties to sit down with our employees, explain it to them. And we went through the process. And um, after I left that job, I decided I could never be scared of anything again, uh, because that was a trial by fire for sure from a, the standpoint of managing a large agency. But what I loved about it was, I mean, you're, you can be so close to what really matters to people. So my agency handled um, really a lot of the problems that people have, whether it's um, child abuse, foster care, adoption, elder abuse. Um, it ran the welfare uh, payments, the AFTC. It did the... Um, eligibility determination for Medicaid. So it did meet and work with all the people who wanted to try to sign up for Medicaid. In fact, one of the first things I did was go through that process. I showed up at one of our offices and just tried to go through it. And um, we had a simple system compared to most states because we had one agency. So you didn't have to go to several agencies. So we had one agency that did AFDC, food stamps, child support, Medicaid. And it was still 
um, a nightmarish, you know, process. So that was one of the things I worked on was simplifying the, the um, eligibility process, outstationing eligibility workers for Medicaid at some of the big public hospitals so that when someone showed up who was really eligible but had never signed up, you could get them signed up for Medicaid. So we did a lot of things that I'm, that I'm proud of. And I did work on the governor's plan to get more people covered, um, which became TenCare. 